Okay, we're gonna show you how you take the full start off to fix the full start. Bolt's already loose. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight. Uh, 3100 PSI 2.8 GPM, 6.5 horsepower pressure washer. Now I'm using a, a wrench on this. A ratchet would make it a lot easier, but I can't find a ratchet. And, uh, just like that. Now you're taking it off to fix it in case the core, in case the, the end snapped off. Like that. Right there. We'll bring you guys over to the workbench and I'll show you over there. Sorry, shop's a mess. Gonna show you how you repair a pull start in this type of situation. Okay. Okay, watch. Got my little pick. I'm gonna slowly push it through there and pull the cord through. Just like that. Then what I'm going to do, this is an old trick I learned from an old fella. You take the rope, you tie a knot in it, you let it wind back, and now it's it. not going to go back. That's old school trick right there. And then you take, you get your pick, you pull this part out, you get the knot, Pull that part out, you throw that part away, you don't need that because that's broke. And uh, trying to engage on there. Then, what you do next is uh, you untangle that because I don't know what you do next is you cut it. Now, you don't have to cut it, but it makes it a lot easier to push through there if it is cut. Get a knife, find somewhere to cut it, and just cut it twice like that. Then you get the little end, you stick this part through. Now you do this part first. I haven't done this in a while. It's been a little bit. First you want to untangle this knot. I know that I think there's some trick you can do without untangling the knot, but I don't want to have that problem. And uh, pull it through like that. Then you do that. Then you get your pick. And you start. You push it through there. Right up there. Then you pull it, and it'll sit right down in there. Then you go like this to hold it. Didn't go all the way in that time. So what you can do is cut that access off. Access is cut off, and you basically
just like that now sometimes if you don't make the knot as as fat it will close the bar it doesn't really matter because now it's like but there you go right there show you how you guys because that is a little much here we'll just just cut that part off and restart Okay, there you go. That's what you want, right there. Then you also cut excess off that. Just like that. Then you pour it down there like that. Just like that. There you go. That's what we want, right there. So then while I go, while this is in here, I'll put some oil on it because it does seem like it's a little catchy. So I'll find some oil. It doesn't really matter the type of oil. I'm just going to use some bar oil because that's what I have. And we are going to dump it right in there there's an edge on that part and once it flips I'm just gonna spin into that part okay mm -hmm. now I'm gonna go reinstall the pull start I'll bring you guys over there don't mind the leak on the ground from the 250 gonna have to do some gas tank repair on it It's pretty simple. It's basically everything I did but backwards now. Yeah, I mean, we gotta figure out what's going on with this. First of all, I can tell you this. I'm not wanting to pull over that great, like it's almost gave up on me. It's a harbor pretty expensive. You can only ask. That one started. We'll get this one started. Got the oil dripping out of it, which that's all I'll put in the full start there. Okay. Now it's dripping everywhere in it, so that's good. That's what we want. Here comes another fire truck. It's always cops, ambulances, and fire trucks around here. And I live out in the country. I mean, I can be in town in about five to ten minutes, so I don't know if that's technically country, but I mean. There's not many houses where I live. So.
Okay, fired up. So we're gonna go hook some water to it because don't want to run pressure washer. Absolutely, do not run a pressure washer long without water pumping to it. That right there is a good amount of time to run it to test it, then immediately shut it off because the pump's gonna run dry, and that's gonna burn the pump. So. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this video. Hopefully this was a helpful video for anyone needing to know uh, how to rebuild the pole. Not rebuild, but uh, fix a pole start that the ropes broke on. And this is pretty simple on all pole start items. It's basically the same. So it ain't just this motor or pressure washer.